Hi everyone, welcome back to Sabir Cat. Hope all are doing fine. In this video, I will introduce you to two smart and intelligent tools. They are truly smart because these tools are the replacement for a number of editing commands. So let's get started. In AutoCAD, we have copy command using which you can create a copy of an object and you can place it at any desired location. For example, if I want to take a copy of this three panel window and I want to place it on this particular location, all I have to do is just click on copy and select the window and I'll choose this midpoint as the base point and I'll choose mid between these two points as a second point. Now you have got a copy, but when you erase this window, you can see that you have to perform the cleanup action by clearing the portion of the wall in the position of the window. For that, you have to construct two cutting edges here. I'll erase the window. Then by using the trim command, you should perform the trimming. Then by giving oops command, I got the window back. Similarly, I'll take another copy of this window onto this wall. For that, I'll click on copy command, choose the window. I'll choose this mid as the base point and this point as the second point. Now the window is in the horizontal orientation. Using the rotate command, I must rotate this window through an angle of 90 degree to change the orientation. Then you have to perform trimming just as you have done here to perform the cleaning up action on the wall. Let's do the same task using BricsCAD. BricsCAD is a modern and cost-effective CAD solution. And you can see that the interface is very similar to AutoCAD. To do this task, I'm going to make use of a smart feature in BricsCAD. Instead of using copy command, I'm going to use copy guided tool. So I'll click on copy guided. Now I'm asked to pick the first corner of the rectangular window. I'll pick the first corner here and the opposite corner here. Now you can see that the wall lines are shown in blue color. These lines will act as guide curves for the copy guided command. And these curves will let you align this object at any desired location while taking a copy. Let's see that. I'll just pick to define the opposite corner point here. Now you can see two arrow marks in both sides. The blue arrows indicate the anchor points and direction of guide curves. The copied entities will only align with the geometry that matches with the number of guide curves and distance between them. For example, if I locate it here, it won't get aligned. Onto this wall, if I try to locate the window, it won't get aligned because the distance between the guide curve is not matching. But once I take it to this location, you can see that the window will get perfectly aligned. Now you can either pick to define the location or you can give a distance at the dynamic entry fields. I'll pick to define the location. I'll take the cursor onto this wall and you can see that the window is getting perfectly aligned because the condition is satisfied. Now I'll pick to define the location. Give enter. Now when you erase this window, you can see that the cleaning up action has already taken place. Even over here, the cleaning up action has taken place. So no need to use trim or rotate commands in this contest. I'll click on copy guided again and this time I'll select this chair. Now you can see that there is only a single guide curve. Now I'll take the cursor over here. It'll get aligned with that line and similarly it'll get aligned with this particular line and wherever there is a straight line it'll get aligned. I'll take the cursor onto this dining table and I'll keep it over here. I'll give a pick. I've got a copy of it here. And one more pick, one more copy, another copy I'll take. Now I'll move the mouse onto the curvular area of the dining table. It'll get even aligned on the curve. You can type a distance or else you can give a pick. Likewise, you can get the copies at any desired locations. Now I'll give an enter. Hence, even on curvular edges, the copy guided works perfectly well. 
this result cannot be accomplished using rectangular or polar arrays. In AutoCAD, we have the standard move command using which you can move an object from one location to another. Now, I'll move this three panel window from this location to this particular location. So, I'll click on move command, select this object. I'll choose this midpoint as a base point and I'll pick a point over here to specify the second point. Now, you have to repair this area to connect the walls. When I erase the window, you can see that you have to cut the portion of the walls wherein the window is inserted just as we have done before. Now you have two additional tasks. You have to repair this area and you have to perform trimming here. Let's do the same task using move guided command in BricsCAD. Move guided automatically aligns the moved entities with the relevant geometry using temporary guide curves and it also performs automatic repair. You can see move guided right below copy guided in a flyout, I'll click on Move Guided. I'll select the window using a rectangle. Now you can see blue arrows on both sides which are guide curves. Blue arrows indicate the anchor points and direction of guide curves. The moved entities will only align with the geometry that matches with the number of guide curves and distance between them as you have seen in the case of Copy Guided. Now I am asked to pick to place the entities. I'll place it right here and give a pick. You can also enter a distance if required. Now you can see that over here automatic repair has taken place and it is perfectly aligned on the wall. Now if I erase this window, the automatic cleanup has taken place as you have seen in the case of copy guided. Now I'll undo to get the window back. I'll click on move guided again. I'll select this window using a rectangle. This time, I'll place it over here. Now, when I take the window onto this area, you can see that it is perfectly aligned because the condition is satisfied. Now, I'll make a pick here. You can see that over here, automatic repair has taken place and the window is perfectly aligned on the walls and the necessary trimming is also done. Hence, copy guided and move guided in BricsCAD is far more advanced than the standard copy and move commands using which you can save a lot of time and effort. They are truly smart, isn't it? So feel free to install a 30-day trial version of BricsCAD software and explore these features on your own. Until I catch you in the next video with another interesting and informative topic. Bye-bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time.